OK. <clears throat> Um, good afternoon. Welcome to the FCCJ. I'm Andy Sharp. Um, I work at Nikkei Asia. Um, happy, but maybe not so happy in a way that today we have uh, Professor Koji Wada um, from the International University of Health and Welfare to talk about the recent surge in cases in Japan and, um, and the implications that has for all of us in our daily lives and for policies of the government. Um, very briefly, Koji Wada has been um, working in this field for many years um, and in countries such as Vietnam and Myanmar. And he was also a, involved in the risk assessment of infectious diseases for Tokyo 2020. Um, we're coming now towards the end of the Olympics and obviously we're not seeing any kind of slowdown in the number of cases um, in, in Japan. So I will we'll hear, hear what he thinks about the government's current policies, what can be done to improve the situation as well. Um, also, I'd like to introduce to my right, um, it's Kawashima, she's our interpreter today. Um, so anyway, without further ado, we're gonna have a short um, speech or presentation of about 15 minutes and then we'll go into Q&A from the room and from the online um, viewers. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is a great privilege to be invited here to share my perspective with you on the COVID-19 response in Japan. I'm Koji Wada. I'm a medical doctor currently working as a researcher, an educator, and a practitioner in the field of public health. I have had an opportunity to tackle COVID-19 ever since I spent 12 days on the Diamond Princess cruise ship as a temporary quarantine officer. And I have also had an opportunity to participate in the discussion of the expert panel on the Ministry of Health. Uh, health, uh, labor, and welfare. So I, give, I will use uh, some slides. And uh, COVID-19 infection is spreading very rapidly, not only in Tokyo, but throughout Japan. And the currently, the risk of someone getting infected is the highest in the last year and a half in Japan. There may be three reasons. One is the spread of the Delta variant, and second is increasing in the number of people infected, and third, people starting to maybe relaxing mitigation measures. The Olympic Games is probably creating a certain atmosphere, but the extent of its indirect impact is not yet, yet, is not yet known. I will be giving some remarks about uh, people react to infection control protocols and vaccination rollout. And this would be important in order for you to understand what has happened and uh, what is happening in Japan regarding COVID-19. So I would like to share the results of the survey that we conducted in the middle of July for those who live in Tokyo, Kanagawa, Chiba, and Saitama prefectures. The respondent population is aged from 20 to 69 and includes over 3,000 persons, and healthcare workers were not uh, included. So the first question, the, uh, this shows the result of, have you ever had COVID-19 symptoms and did get a PCR testing for COVID-19 in the past one year and a half? The percentage of yes, it was only 6%, what do you think? Is the number large or small? And uh, the next one is that, have you ever been diagnosed with COVID-19? Only one to 2% replied yes, and uh, which may be compatible with the zero survey contact, conducted in Kanagawa Prefecture. So this may be very different from the situation in many countries, including the US and the European countries. And there was another question. So does anyone you know who can reach, con reach or contact by email or telephone have had the COVID-19? This may be related to people's recognition of the risk of getting infected. And for this question, 
18% chose, chose yes. So it means only two out of 10 people know someone who got infected, but eight out of 10 may be, may be skeptical or not take COVID-19 seriously. So in March 2021, four months ago from this survey, I asked the same question. And at that time, one in 10 said yes. So I was really surprised. And uh, may I just say that uh, I admire Japanese people's behaviors and attitude. Even though only one or two in 10 persons knew someone close to them who had been infected, but they still continue to carry out infection control in many places since March 2020. And uh, this relatively small number is an achievement of, of our infection control. However, there are a certain number of people who may not be aware of the risk of getting infected in their workplace and their daily life in the middle of July. So this data shows for the workplace. At workplaces, about 60% of the respondents may not perceive that they are at the risk of infection. And of course, they, the risk would be depending on the type of job, for example, whether they will interact with people, many people in the service industry or office workers. But uh, it said 60% of respondents may not perceive they, that they are at risk of infection at the workplace. And uh, this is a cross tabulation, so it's a little messy slides, but uh, between the perception of the risk of the uh, infection at the workplaces, and if they know anyone close to them who has infected with the COVID-19. And many people say that younger people in their like, uh, 20s or 30s should be the targets. But you all know how challenging it is to reach out to this younger generation through the media. And this generation tend to be criticized due to not properly following infection control measures. But they may recognize their risk of getting infected, especially if they personally know someone who is already infected. Here you see the, the, uh, the strongly agree and somewhat agree for the uh, if you will really get infected with uh, COVID-19 in your workplace was 66%, comparing with the uh, middle age group, like uh, 40 to 59 said 51%, and for ladies only, uh, oh, sorry, this is female, this, this is part female, and 33% uh, for the uh, female 40 to uh, 59 years old. So there have been much differences between younger generation and the middle age group. And uh, another thing which I, it was uh, a little uh, interesting you know, finding was uh, if someone knows uh, who have already got infected may have 66% for young people and no is 50%. There are 16 point differences, but for the uh, middle age group, not so much differences, even for the male and uh, even for female, this is for female, it's almost the same. That was really interesting finding. And on the contrary, and uh, middle-aged pe people may have less awareness of risk of getting infected. That would be fine if the middle-aged people carry out proper infection control. However, middle-aged people have more leadership and influence on younger generation, generations, especially at workplaces. And the middle-aged generation have an increased risk of developing severe symptoms if they are infected. So the next strategy would be to empower these middle-aged groups. That's what I would like to suggest in this session. And the uh, second one uh, is, uh, uh, here it is. So there was another question. So does anyone you know uh, who can uh, get inf uh, sorry. Uh, the, there was another question. Does anyone, uh, sorry, uh, there are, yes. So there are a certain number of people who may not aware of the risk of getting infected in their daily life. Here, 
for the, this is for daily life, and uh, f almost half of the people may not recognize the risk of getting infected. And the next one is, uh, did you get, did you receive at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccination? And uh, almost one fourth of the people may say yes, and uh, for the ages 20 to 69 years old. And uh, this is another question. And uh, do you believe that the COVID-19 vaccine is effective? And 69% uh, of the people may say yes, but 30% uh, may have negative impressions for the effectiveness of the COVID-19. And the next one is, uh, do you believe that COVID-19 vaccine is safe? And uh, it seems uh, half of them may have the skeptical for the safety. That can be because of the side effect of the uh, COVID-19 vaccination, especially for the uh, second times. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, okay. So it's may maybe a little back here. Okay, so there are a certain number of people who are still concerned about the vaccine safety and effectiveness in Japan, especially safety. And of course, they, I have had a side effect after the second shot for a few days, but I recommend that all of you get vaccinated if you have the opportunity. However, this is what our healthcare workers need to tackle through individual consultation if someone, some people are still not able to decide whether to get vaccinated or not. And getting the vaccination is not the compulsory, but do not give up in your efforts to have them understand how important the vaccination is. As you can see in this figure, there are a certain number of people who want to, sorry, this one, who want to wait for a while and do not want to get vaccinated yet, especially the younger generation. And uh, however, certain uh, number of the people, like uh, 30 to 50 percent in their 60s and the 50s and 40s, who also they say they want to wait and see. The number is here. Some of the want to wait and do not get uh, do not want to get vaccinated. It's still, a relatively high number of the people, especially for the. Uh, 40s uh, ladies may have 49% and 39% uh, for the male. So in the end, I will give the three point as a take home message. So empowering the middle age would be a key strategy for infection control and vaccination. And uh, stricter interventions are needed as soon as possible to control the number of infected persons. And this is important to ensure the quality of care for each person. And uh, I have not had much time to address the leadership needed to solve this difficult situation. And uh, there are expectations for the political and uh, even civil leadership. In the politics, the governor should take responsibility. And of course, the government needs to take initiative as well. Then the, also the leaders in civil societies and also need to, type, to take initiative. And of course, healthcare workers should also take leadership to tackle these situations in their communities. And uh, I am also going to keep working as a public health expert by collaborating with the government, individuals, and the media like you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wada Sensei. So just before um, I open this up to the floor and to online questions, I just wanted to point out to Wada Sensei that NHK just reported that today we will see 5,000 or more cases in Tokyo. Um, could I get your reaction on that and the current um, surge? How do, how do you see us you know, bringing this surge to you know, slowing this down, flattening the curve per se? Because it seems quite unstoppable at the moment. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to translate? Yes. Into Japanese? Should I? Um, from now on? 
I think if you understand the question, it's okay. Ah, oh, okay. Question, I just yeah. 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 そうですねあの、まあ、東京に限らず関東そしてまあ全国においてもう感染が止まらない状態にありますで、まあ、感染を一日でも早く止める必要があるこれはもう医療をの質を担保するためにも必要である、まあ、そのためには接触機会を減らしていただくことがとても重要だと考えています。So,、uh, regardless of where it is、uh, nationwide,、uh, not just Tokyo and Kanto,、uh, we are seeing this、um, surge of、uh, infections. And it is, it is imperative that we stop、uh, the surge as soon as possible,、uh, as early as possible, because it's going to impact、uh, the quality of medical treatment uh, that uh, we will be getting. So,、uh, one of the、um, ways in which we can control this is, of course,、uh, to make sure that、uh, people distance themselves and、uh, try not to interact、uh, socially. でそのための対策というのは、まあ、法律の下でできるものがあって、これまで使ってきましたが、今の段階では十分になされていないということで、まあ、今後も多くの感染者が出るということには大変遺憾に思っています。So,、uh, in order to uh, mitigate uh, this situation, we have been relying on what is possible uh, by, uh, legal, uh, by the legal system, but、uh, it has proven that that is not uh, sufficient. Uh, so, I think、uh, something else、uh, needs to be done. A different measure has to be、uh, implemented in order to、um, reduce the number of infected. オリンピックがあるからということもあるのかもしれませんが、これから日本はお盆というまあ時期を迎える中において、この段階でしっかりとまあ下げていきたいというふうに思っており、まあ、政府、そして都道府県には追加の対策が求められる時期だと考えています。以上です。So, uh, many people uh, say that maybe it's because of the、uh, Olympics uh, and maybe uh, the number of、uh, the infected will uh, even uh, go up higher.、Uh, and not just the Olympics, but we're going to be having the so called Obon holidays、uh, here in Japan,、uh, which may again impact the surge of those impacted. impacted、uh, infected. So, at this point in time, I I think、uh, we really need to uh, introduce uh, some other kind of measures、uh, in order to、um, uh, tackle this situation. And I would like to、uh, ask、uh, the government, as well as uh, the uh, different uh, governments in the different prefectures and so forth, uh, to uh, also uh, do something about this situation. Okay, thank you. So I'll open this up to the floor now.、Um, please. Keep your questions short and give your name and affiliation. We'll start with Richard and then we'll go to you. Thank you, Richard Lloyd Parry of The Times. I wonder if you could talk about the relationship between the Olympics and the pandemic in Tokyo. The IOC insists that there is no evidence of any infection spreading directly from Olympic related people to the general population.、Uh, and they point out that、um, the, the positive rate in tests they carry out is very, very low. But of course, they're carrying out a very, very large number of, of tests on a daily basis. So I wonder if you accept that claim. Or is it perhaps too early to know the effect given that the disease has a, sometimes a two week incubation period? Yeah. Oh, あのオリンピックによる、まあ、東京の流行の直接的影響についてはまだちょっとよくわからないというのが正確なところだと思いますが、まあ、間接的な影響、まあ、気持ちの上での影響というのは一定のことはあっただろうというふうに思っています。So,、uh, the direct、um, relationship between the Olympics and uh, the rise uh, in the number of affected、uh, is still unknown, but I believe that there is an indirect relationship, maybe emotional、uh, kind of relationship between the Olympics and the surge of the,、uh, the boat, those infected. はい、でもう一つ、やはりその、まあ、今回、会場において、特に選手の方、そして周りの事業者の方で感染者の数がまあ報告されていますけれども、まあ、その数については
まあ、あ,のある程度想定されたところではあったとは考えています。And the other point is about the athletes as well as those、uh, involved,、uh, maybe in terms of、uh, business, etc.,、uh, with the Olympics. The numbers reported of the、uh, infected are within what is expected. であの、まあ、陽性と判定されて、まあ、出場できなかった方もおられるのは、本当にあの気の毒にはあの思っております。And I do、uh, am, uh, sympathize、uh, with those athletes who are unable to participate in the、um, games because、uh, they were、um, uh, diagnosed as being positive. で今回は無観客という選択を、まあ、政府ならびに組織委員会に取っていただいたわけですが、それはもちろん日本の国内の対策だけではなくて、私はもっと世界で見ている人たちがこう密になって集まらないようにということで、まあ、そういうメッセージももっと世界に発信して、えーまあ、特に今、大変なアフリカだとかアジアにおいても、まあ、見るときにはこういうふうな感染対策をというようなメッセージは、もう少し伝えられても。よかったんじゃないかなと思っています。And、uh, with, the, uh, with respect to the games, of course,、uh, no audience has been the、uh, official uh, policy uh, by the government as well as by the Olympic Committee. And、uh, that has been the policy for a domestic uh, audience uh, in order to avoid any uh, kind of um, um, crowding、uh, in the spaces. But I wish that they had.、Um,はい。Okay, thank you. My name is Richard, Richard Silo from Tribune News Indonesia.、Uh, do you think it is necessary to have the、uh, vaccine booster、uh, three years after now? It means 2002, 2003, and 2004. Thank you very much. あのワクチンのブースターですね、うんうんはい、をあの2022年に、はい、2023年ごろに、はい、あの接種する必要があるとお思いでしょうか、はいはい、あのワクチンのブースターについては、まあ、おそらく2回、まあ、今、接種をしているところですけれども、どこかの段階では必要になるだろうなというふうに思っています。まあ、一方であのインドネシアの方だという話を聞きましたが、私は非常にあの、まあ、心配しておりますのは、アジアの状況において、うんえーまあ、やはりワクチンの、まあ、日本はあの、まあ、本当に恵まれている中でワクチンを今、いただいて、まあ、私も含めて多くの方が接種をしているわけですが、多くのまだアジアには届いていないという、この現状について。まあ、あのもちろんブースターの数も限られているわけですが、そういったワクチンの配分といったところが、まあ、もう少し何らかいい方向が目指せればなと思っています。Uh, yes. uh, regarding uh, booster um, shots, uh, at the moment, I think、uh, you do get vaccinated twice, but at、uh, some point, I think、uh, this type of booster、um, vaccination will become a necessity. Uh, but uh, since you are from Indonesia, I just want to mention that I am uh, very uh, concerned about the situation in, in Asia.、Uh, in Japan, we are very fortunate、uh, that most of the people who want to be vaccinated, including myself, I have been able to get、uh, my vaccination, but in some other uh, countries, um, vaccines are very limited. So, of course, the number of booster vaccines will again become、um, limited. And I think、uh, it's important that we have a fair、uh, distribution of the vaccines. That is、uh, one of the things that need to be、um, uh, taken care of. Okay, thank you. I'll go to an online question. This is from、um Walter Sim at the Straits Times. He asks, Why does the Japanese government seem to have been caught flat footed in its COVID 19 approach to the point of having to debate controversial hospitalization policies? Why hadn't the government done more earlier to prepare for this eventuality since it would have had the chance to observe the devastating impact of Delta in other countries? 
Is this complacency or is this a systematic political issue? あの今回の方針の転換ということで、まああのまあ、自宅で療養できる方は療養するということ、これはもう現場ですでに行われていることでありましたが、改めてまあ方針として示されたと理解しています。So,、uh, this uh, change uh, in the so called hospitalization policy, in other words,、uh, if you are infected,、uh, please stay home and recuperate at home,、uh, is something that has already been uh, practiced uh, in, uh, in the actual、um, settings. So,、um, it, it was to be expected. でこの方針の転換は、もうご指摘のように、そのいわゆる、まあ、少し落ち着いている自治があった、まあ、日本では4波、5波と言っているあの間に、まあ、今後、こういったことも想定してといったことで、まあ、お示しができればよかったのかなというふうに思いますが、まあ、あのこの状態になって初めてというのは、まあ、あの致し方ないというふうに思う部分もありますが、残念なところでもあります。So,、uh, regarding、uh, this、um, change in the hospitalization、uh, policy, that was、um, debated and it was、uh, something that was going to be implemented、uh, between the fourth and the fifth、uh, waves when、uh, the surge was not as bad as it is today.、Uh, so,、um, in that sense, I think it is very unfortunate、uh, that this change of hospitalization policy has been announced at this point in time. はい、ですので、えっとまあ、今後、日本において、えー、地域の総力戦として、まあ、今あるリソースをつな、まあ、いでいって、多くの方を救うことが求められていますが、一方でもう一つ残念なことは、やはり患者さんの数が増えると、当然、医療の質が下がるというわけでしたので、あの方針が出たときに、いかに患者さんを一日も早く減らすかといった方針もともにお示しをいただきたかったと思っています。So,、uh, I think uh, from uh, going, uh, going forward for Japan,、uh, it's important、uh, that everyone, the whole community, not just the、uh, central government,、uh, but uh, the governments uh, uh, throughout Japan, as well as everyone,、uh, they uh, unite uh, together uh, and utilize whatever exist existing resources、uh, there are、uh, to、uh, tackle this、uh, situation. The one unfortunate、uh, point about、uh, this change in the policy is that、uh, this policy was、um, announced so that、um, the surge of patients、um, can be handled somehow, but,、uh, and also because of the concern about the deterioration. Of the quality of medical、uh, treatment that patients、uh, would be receiving. But、um, I think it was unfortunate that this change of、um, policy was announced、uh, without uh, mentioning uh, measures on how uh, to um, mitigate uh, the surge of、um, patients uh, infected. Okay, we've got a bunch of online questions here, so maybe we'll get through some of these and then. Um, go back to the room. This is from、um, Chihiro Kai at the Asia Times and the Daily Beast.、Um, Chihiro asks A member of the COVID 19 advisory board to Tokyo 2020 gave an interview this week about the Paralympic, Par Paralympics being potentially cancelled due to the rising cases. As a medical professional, did you forecast this spike in infections before the Olympics began? And are the Potentials for greater health risks to Paralympians depending on their conditions. Thank you very much. あの私は今はあの、いわゆる厚生労働省の、まあ、アドバイザリーボードのパネルであって、まあ、東京オリンピックの方には直接には関わっておりませんが、あの意見を述べさせていただきます。ちょっと一旦。So, um, I、uh, do belong to the advisory panel of、uh, MHLW,、uh, but I am not directly involved with the Olympic Committee. はい、えっと、確かあオリンピック、パラリンピック8月の。24からの開催ということを理解しておりますが、この時期に向けて、今の状況であれば、かなり医療は厳しい状況を迎えるということが想定されています、特に東京においては。Okay, so、uh, the Paralympics、uh, is scheduled to、um, convene on August 24th, and、uh, when that time comes, I believe that uh, the medical uh, situation uh, in uh, Japan,、uh, in Tokyo,、uh, is going to be、uh, very, very tight. 
でパラリンピックの方々は特に基礎疾患を持った方も来られているし、まあ、例えば感染者が出た場合の療養する場所においても特別な配慮が必要であろうというふうに理解しています。Uh, regarding the、uh, athletes、uh, who are going to be participating in the Paralympics, I think、um, many of them、uh, will come with underlying、uh, disease,、uh, which means that once they get infected, they will need a special kind of、uh, medical attention. はいまあ、そうした中で、まあ、今回、オリンピックの経験というものもこれはあるわけですので、まあ、その中でどういうふうにパラリンピックが開催できるのかということが議論されるものと期待しています。So, I am hoping that、uh, they will、um, engage in discussions about how to hold、uh, the, the Paralympics based on the experience that they have gained、uh, from、uh, the Olympics. はい、私はまあ公衆衛生のまあ立場として、そのまあパラリンピックがまあ開催がの可否については、特にあの意見をする立場ではないと思っていますが、いずれにしても来られる方々が、きちんと、まあ、協議ができるということは、あの一市民としては願っているところであります。So, um, I am, um... My, my, uh, um, my specialty is, of course, public health.、Uh, so,、uh, regarding the Paralympics, I、um, don't have, I mean, not in a position、uh, to say whether it should be、uh, cancelled or whether it should、uh, go ahead. But as a citizen of、uh, Japan, I just hope that、uh, the athletes who are going to participate、uh, in the Games, in the Olympics,、uh, will be、uh, properly、um, paid attention to and that they will be safe. Okay,、um, you, you want another question, Richard? It's okay. Richard Lloyd Power from The Times again.、Um, I, I wanted to ask you about your statement just now that you're, you're not in a position to say whether the Olympics or Paralympics, whether the Paralympics should go ahead. Uh, that's the kind of caution that, that we often hear from、mm. experts,、um, including advisors to the government, when speaking about these matters. And my question is why aren't you in a position to say whether you think it should go ahead? You, you're an expert, you're a member of a government panel, you have access to the best data available. I understand that. You know, you, you may hesitate to make statements that could be regarded as political, but this isn't about politics, it's about public health. Why can't you give an opinion on this very important matter? Ah, just a little bit. I'm going to ask you to ask you. はい、あの先生のお答えの中で、はい、あのこのパラリンピックを、はいえーまあ、するかしないかということを、はい、あのおっしゃるそういう、うん、あの立場にはないということをおっしゃいましたが、うん、あのなそういうことをおっしゃるあのエキスパート専門家の方が多いと皆さんそのようなあの話し方をされると、うん、でもあの先生も、まあ、あの厚労省の,あのアドバイザリーパネルのメンバーでもありますし、はい、またあの専門家でもいらっしゃる、はい、公衆衛生の専門家でもいらっしゃるえそしてまあベストデータ、はい、あの最良のデータへのアクセスもお持ちでいらっしゃいます、はい、でなぜそれにもかかわらず、まあ、あの政治的な発言をしてはいけないというお立場なのかもしれないけれどもなぜあの公衆衛生の専門家としてそのパラリンピックを開催するか否かということに関してその躊躇あのご意見をおっしゃることに躊躇されているんでしょうかわ、はいはい、かりましたありがとうございます、えっと、私,は私はあのオリンピックの,かい,あのいわゆるオリンピックに関してのまあ、専門家提言のにも参加をさせていただきましたでその中で、えーまあ、私たちとしては、まあ、無観客というような選択肢を示したものを、えー、オリンピックの前に出させていただきましたでその中で、えー、オリンピックの開催の有無についての、まあ、指摘がないではないかというようなご指摘をその時にもいただきました。
So yes, uh, I was involved uh, in the uh, advisory panel, uh, giving advice uh, to uh, the uh, holding of the Olympics bef many months before it was actually held, uh, in order to make some uh, recommendations uh, as an expert. And one of the recommendations that we made uh, was to hold it without um, uh, the audience um, in, in in the games. Uh, and at that time too, I was um, asked why. Uh, we cannot um, definitively state whether it should be cancelled or whether it should go ahead. はい。and uh, so uh, when that discussion was held, uh, ultimately, I think uh, people uh, came to the conclusion this was not the only opinion, but uh, many people said that uh, ultimately it is up to politics or the government uh, to decide whether uh, to hold or to cancel the games. That, that would be the appropriate approach. はい、ですので、まあ、あの、so uh, along that line, uh, about the uh, Paralympics, uh, if uh, there is an opportunity to, again, uh, have some kind of um, discussion about uh, the possibility of holding it or cancelling it, uh, maybe, yes, uh, that the opportunity uh, will enable me to maybe express my opinion. But at this point in time, I am in no position, I'm not in a position uh, to state whether it should uh, go ahead or whether it should be cancelled. Um, I, I think everyone recognizes that you're not in a position to cancel the Olympics. You're a scientist, not a politician. But I don't understand what's stopping you from giving a clear answer now based on the data available to you. I think that's what, what people want. They, they don't want you to make the decision, but they want to know what you think. And very few experts are giving a clear answer to that question. A few are, but not many. And I don't understand why. ま、意見を求められれば言えるかもしれませんが、そのあたりのデータがない中でのコメントはできないというふうに思っています。ま、今後あれば、あのまたあの。well, uh, one of the reasons is because uh, regarding the Paralympics, uh, the um, accurate data as to how many athletes are going to be coming uh, and how many people related to the Paralympics will be uh, coming to Japan, uh, at what point, uh, these types of um, accurate data is unavailable uh, to me. And also, um, I do not know uh, how the organizing committee uh, is thinking about the Paralympics uh, based on the experience uh, that, they, that they have learned uh, from the Olympics. So again, uh, data is lacking on that point. So uh, if these become available, and if I am asked for my opinion, I will be very happy to um, give my opinion. Okay, we'll come to this gentleman here, and then go to Mary, and then we'll come to some more online questions. の、え、フリーランスの小林と申します。あの、お伺いしたいことは、え、今あの、この資料を見せていただきましたけれども、1日の、え、平均感染者数がですね、ま、1万人 
この状態でですねとどまるわけがないというのは素人では素人考えなんですが先生最悪の事態っていうのはですねどのような例えばこの一日の感染者数という数字で見ればですねどのような状況を考えていらっしゃるかそれからもう一点はですね自宅療養というのはですね明らかにこれは医療崩壊ですね。自宅で<笑>でしかとにかく対応できないというのはです、ね、これはものすごい、まあ、大変なことだと思うんですが、それをもう政府が総理から宣言しているということはです、ね、医療に専門家としてです、ね、この事態をどういうふうに考えられているかと、これはもう、これが感染者数がです、ね、10倍にでも膨らむのはもう間近だと思うんですが、その時の医療というのはどんなふうなことをになるのか、この2点をお伺いしたいです。So、uh, I have、um, two questions. My name is Obayashi. I'm a freelance.、Um, uh, thank you uh, for the uh, presentation. I have looked at your presentation materials,、uh, which indicate that the average、um, infected per day、uh, is like 10,000、uh, at the moment in Japan. It looks like it's not going to stop here.、Uh, so, Uh, what is your、uh, worst case scenario?、Uh, how many、um, infected do you think will,、uh, will, will we be seeing、uh, in a day? That's my first question. Now, the government has announced、uh, what is called、um, home recuperation,、uh, and I think that this indicates in many ways a healthcare collapse.、Uh, it's a very、um, Difficult、uh, situation, but the Prime Minister has already、uh, declared about this shift in the hospitalization、uh, policy. As an expert, a medical、um, expert,、um, what do you think about uh, this uh, policy? And、uh, if the number of infected uh, goes um, up by 10 times,、um, what do you think will happen? Yes, thank you. まさに今、非常に大変、もう感染者が止まらない状態である中で、一日も早く感染者を減らすような人流を制限するだとか、これまでもやってきたような対策を強く求める時期にあるんだろうというふうに考えております。So,、uh, yes, as you indicated,、uh, the number of infected、uh, seems unstoppable. It looks like、um, people uh, uh, infected are, are going up、um, limitlessly. And I think it's important that we restrict the flow of、uh, people and introduce、uh, some other kind of、uh, measure at this point in time. でも数字としても、昨日も厚生労働省の会議がありましたけれども、8月の中旬においては、東京において自宅療養という方がもう5万人というような数字も出て、想定として出ています。Uh, regarding uh, specific numbers,、uh, we held a meeting、uh, with MHLW yesterday, and、uh, it was estimated by, that by mid、um, August,、uh, the number of、um, infected people who will be recuperating at home will probably hit、um, 50,000 in Tokyo. この体制において、まあ、新型コロナ、COVID-19 の患者さんの対応だけではなくて、一般の診療にまで影響がありえるというような状況を、これは政府はデータを持っているはずだと理解しています。So, uh, this uh, is not only going to impact uh, those uh, who are、um, infected with COVID 19, but it will also、um, affect uh, the, uh, the medical uh, treatment uh, Uh, of uh, those uh, with other uh, types of um, diseases. And I believe that the government does have that data. まあ、そういった中において、まだまだ、まあ、今日も諮問委員会と諮問分科会がありましたけれども、まあ、強い対策というメッセージが出てきてない、そしてこれからお盆になるということで、まあ、大変そこに対して政府の対応においては、まあ、危機感といいますか、危機感が本当に持っておられるのかといったところには、まあ、疑問を感じるところはあります。And uh, given uh, this uh, situation, uh, the government advisory uh, subcommittee held their meeting uh, today. Uh, 
uh, to discuss about measures, but uh, they did not uh, come up with any um, powerful or strong uh, message regarding um, extra measures that they will be implementing. And also, as I said earlier, uh, we will be having the Obon holidays um, next week. So I don't feel that the government has this sense of crisis that they should be having at this time uh, in order to uh, tackle this very difficult situation. ま、そのえ、or uh, if uh, there are going to be people who will need uh, medical assistance, perhaps the self-defense forces uh, can be utilized uh, uh, for that. Um, these things are being um, discussed at the moment, yet um, nothing uh, concrete has been announced yet. So I sincerely hope that um, an extra uh, measure uh, to uh, mitigate this situation uh, can be announced as soon as possible. Okay, yep, Mary at the back there, please. Mary Corbett, Kressner Media. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation today. Uh, I think right now, or right through the summer, we've been putting to get, laying to rest one theory, one informed opinion after another as to what is actually going on with the respective waves and the variants. So currently we're dealing with uh, the Delta. And in your opinion, is this, is, are the policymakers already facing the next wave and the next variant? Or are we coming up with some uh, measures to control Delta? And what do you specifically think of the COVID outbreak that they just had on the East Coast in Massachusetts? where over 60%, I believe, almost 70% of the new um, patients were already double vaccinated. So um, I don't hear that being discussed very much at government level or in the news, but I think it has really impacted CDC mm -hmm. policy. So I'm very interested to know what your measures, our recommended measures are for the next wave. Thank you. はい、あ、Yes, uh, regarding the Delta uh, variant, I really believe uh, that even for us um, medical uh, professionals, it has become a game changer. で、and then in 1.6 months, uh, we are facing uh, the uh, occurrence of these uh, variants, uh, which has become a game changer. I believe that uh, something like this, another uh, type of uh, mutation or uh, variable, uh, will uh, most likely um, occur. Hi. それで、あの、ま、アメリカの事例は私はあの報道のレベルしかわかりませんが、あの、日本でもワクチンを2回接種して、ま、2週間というような状態で、ま、ある程度完了というような状態ですが、ま、その状況においても、ま、当面の間マ
So uh, regarding the uh, situation in the U.S., I only know uh, what I uh, hear uh, in the press, uh, but even here in Japan, for those people who have been vac vaccinated uh, twice, uh, who has uh, who, who, which has been more than two weeks, in other words, uh, who have completed uh, the necessary measures, are asked to wear their masks uh, for the time being and also to um, take uh, various precautions uh, in order to avoid getting infected. まあ、それによってあのな、まあ、日本の人々の中にはワクチンを打っても、まあ、何もできることは増えないじゃないかといったような感じが出てくることはありますがまずはやはりまず重症化を抑える死亡のリスクを下げるという意味での、まあ、直接的な利益が得られるといったことは特にまあ中年の世代60代50代40代にはきちんとお伝えしてワクチンの接種をしていただこうと思っています。So uh, maybe, uh, or uh, perhaps uh, among the Japanese people, uh, there will be uh, those uh, who will say that even after um, two uh, vaccinations, uh, the things that they can uh, do in their daily life uh, is still going to be uh, very um, limited. Uh, they may feel um, unhappy about that, but uh, the fact that uh, you can prevent uh, from uh, developing uh, your conditions to be much more severe or even to, um, to avoid a death, I think it does indicate that the vaccination does have its um, uh, benefits. So uh, especially to those in their 40s and 50s and 60s, I think it's important that uh, we um, deliver uh, this message of uh, the di direct uh, benefit of uh, being vaccinated. まあ、最後ですけど、まあ、アメリカでもイギリスでもあの日本のテレビ番組はもうマスクなしで応援している野球で日本のまあ大谷選手などが出ても後ろではもうマスクをせずにみんな見ているといった状況でなぜ日本ではできないんだという市民のまあ疑問もあるのは分かっていますがまずはやはり日本の中でえもうえっとできることは増やしていきたいというふうに思ってワクチンを接種することによってできることは増やしていきたいと思っています。So uh, watching uh, what is happening in the U.S. or in the U.K. Uh, that is being uh, broadcast on Japanese uh, television, uh, you see this uh, Japanese baseball player, uh, Otani, uh, in the games, and a lot of the people in the audience are not uh, Uh, wearing their masks, and the Japanese people are asking or having doubts about whether uh, that should be the case here in Japan or not. But I think uh, the priority is uh, to uh, emphasize uh, the positive, uh, the, ben the benefits of uh, being uh, vaccinated uh, to the Japanese people. So, in the case of the Japanese people, the most important thing is that the 高齢者の、まあ、例えばお孫さんへの面会であったり、まあ、入院患者さんで本当に厳しい状態の中で、まあ、ご夫婦であったり本当に限られた人でも今面会ができないところそこに関しては、まあ、ワクチンの接種ならびに検査といったもので感染対策が低くあ感染のリスクが低くかつ社会的にの高いところこれをまだ今制限しているところが多いのでこれはなんとか今進めてできるように進めていきたいと考えています。So I think uh, one of the um, highest priorities, as far as I am concerned, uh, has to do uh, with the infection control uh, measures, whereby uh, the older uh, people are properly uh, vaccinated, and at the moment they are restricted, uh, are unable to, for example, meet their um, grandchildren. But I hope that kind of um, rest restrictions uh, can be uh, lifted uh, so that uh, those with less uh, risk of infection uh, can enjoy at least a little bit of um, uh, benefits of being um, vaccinated and of uh, properly observing um, the infection control uh, measures. Thank you. Got a question? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name is Khaldun Azhari. Panorit News, Arab News Japan. I just want to follow up on uh, Richard's question here. He, he said, he quoted the IOC saying that there is no evidence that the Olympics has anything to do with the rise of the infections. And I also heard many uh, opinions from the IOC and Japanese officials that the infections within the Olympic community is within expectations. I don't know what that means. 
what do they expect exactly, if you can tell us more about it. And can you just wrap it up and tell us, is there any link between the Olympics and the rise of infections or not? Uh, we really want to know because I, we came here to uh, know about this uh, link between the Olympics and uh, infections. It, it seems there is no link at all and uh, you cannot say it. So if you think there is no link, please let us know. Thank you. あの、リチャードさんの質問にあの関連しますが、あのこのオリンピックの開催が直接あのその陽性者が増えていることにはあの関係してないんではないかというあの結構意見が多いということだったんですけれども、またそのあのオリンピック関係者の感染というのはま想
でそれがまあ直接的な影響の話ですが、間接的な影響については、オリンピックをやってるということで、国内において、やはりこう気持ちがまあ高まって、人々が少し集まってといったことはあるんだろうなというふうには思いますが、これも数字で示すのは難しいとは思っています。And so that was on the direct、uh, link between the Olympics and the,、uh, the spread of the,、uh, the pandemic.、Uh, as for the indirect uh, link, uh, as I、uh, said earlier,、uh, people who are watching the games uh, may feel uh, emotionally uh, excited,、uh, and that may uh, result in um, peop-、um, more people, like a group of people,、uh, coming together to watch the games or something like that. So that again、uh, is,、um, we don't. Know the results yet. We don't have、um, numbers、uh, which prove、uh, whether that, there was that kind of indirect link yet. 2つだけちょっとあの私が今、そのこのオリンピックのインダイレクトの影響として考えていることがあります。で1つはやはりオリンピックをやっているということで、本来今までやってきた、例えば都道府県でのまあ強い対策、まあ、お店を含めた指導といったものが、まあ、あのちょっとお金の保証金の支払いが少し難しくなっている等もありながら、まあ、そこに対して本来法的にやらなければいけなかったことをやっていなかったというのは私は問題だと思っているのが1点目もう1個だけ2点目あ二2点目あのもう1つ私はあのすごく気になっているのはやはりそのポリシーを考える方もです、ね、ワクチンを接種してきている方が増えている中である程度こう自分が守られているというこれ安心感があるわけですけどもまあ、それによって少しこう対策に対してね、あの要はワクチンを打ってない人の気持ちに立って本当に対策を考えられているのかということは常に私は自分を問いながら考えています。もし私が今の状態でワクチンを打ってないとしたら、どういう対策を求めるのかといったことは引き続きあの意識をきちんと持っていきたいというふうに思っています。So,、uh, two more、uh, points about the indirect、uh, impact of the、uh, Olympics.、Um, uh, because the Olympics are happening,、uh, many of the so called stronger uh, measures uh, which were、um, introduced、uh, to the so called restaurants,、uh, bars, etc.,、um, I think the、uh, so called fiscal、uh, guarantee hasn't really been uh, properly uh, implemented. And so, these uh, public uh, measures are not being uh, followed. Um, Uh, per uh, book, or as they should be,、uh, because of the、uh, Of, of the Olympics. That's one point that I am concerned about. The second concern I have is many of the people who are involved uh, in uh, coming up with these uh, policies uh, have already been vaccinated. And so they probably have a sense of being protected、uh, from being、uh, vaccinated. So when they uh, draw up、um, policies, maybe they are not as、um, Uh, uh, concerned about、uh, those who are still unvaccinated. In other words,、um, the measures that they、um, formulate may not take into account those who are still、um, not、uh, vaccinated. So I, uh, this is something that I also、uh, tell myself, but whenever、uh, we think of、um, Uh, infection, infection control measures. I think we all need to、uh, take into account and be、uh, considerate of those who are still not vaccinated. Okay, he's、um, very kindly agreed to answer one or two more questions. So we'll have the, the last one from the room now, and then we'll go to one from online. ま、オリンピックとの関係ですけども、ま、非常にはその、あの、インダイレクトなところのあのデータがないっていうふうにおっしゃってますけども、ま、一番大事な部分のところのデータがないっていうのは、あの、非常にまずいなというふうに思います。
これから始まるパラリンピックも非常に上昇的な空気で大事なことが決まってしまうというあの非常にあの恐れを感じています。So,、uh, this is Matsui from the Nikkei、uh, Shinbun.、Uh, you mentioned that there is no、um, data uh, to um, link uh, the Olympics indirectly、uh, to the rise of the、uh, pandemic. But I think、um, it's、uh, very, very、um, uh, sort of、uh, unfortunate that there is no data about this most important、um, phenomenon or、uh, this important point. Uh, as you said,、uh, people become excited.、Uh, they may want to go outside、uh, when they watch, the,、uh, watch television. Also, they stay home to watch the television. So maybe the, uh, the, uh, the number of people、uh, visiting restaurants will go down. Or, I mean, these kinds of data. I know that you say you don't have any data, but there, since you are an expert, there must be many ways in which you can、um, conduct a survey、uh, to get a feel of、uh, what kind of Indirect impact、uh, there is between the Olympics and uh, uh, the rise of、uh, the infected.、Uh, so I think that、uh, should be done、uh, in order to determine whether、uh, the Paralympics should really happen or not. はい、ありがとうございました。えっとまあ、オリンピックがあったことによって、どれだけの感染を増したのかということに関しては、確かにその。なんでしょうねまあ、論文うんぬんでの解析も含めて考えるとなかなか難しいなというふうには思っています、まあ、そのオリンピックがじゃなかった場合にはどうだったのかというような比較との、まあ、差みたいなところでしょうけどもじゃあそれをじゃあやって。でやることで、まああのまあ、もちろんやることによって、まあ、何か分かることもあるかもしれませんが、今、何よりも大事なことは、どうやってこの感染を抑えていくのかといったことの方が、ちょっと私は優先度が高いというふうに考えています。あちょっと言ったんです Well, of course,、uh, there must be a way to analyze how the Olympics、um, impacted the rise of、uh, the infection. But、uh, in reality, that is very difficult.、Uh, conducting that kind of survey would be extremely、uh, difficult,、uh, especially if you're looking, at, looking for ac accuracy. Now, rather than, and also,、uh, how can you know whether、uh, the number of infected would have been、um, smaller if we did not have the Olympics? I mean, and to compare the two, two situations. I mean, that is like you know, very,、um, a very vague situation. So rather than、um, uh, focusing on this link、uh, between the Olympics and、uh, the pandemic, I think it's much more important、uh, to try to control、uh, the current state of、uh, infection. はい、その中でやはりあの今あの、情緒的というお言葉がありましたけども。あのやはりそのこれまでも緊急事態宣言のなされた中でさまざまな対策が行われてきたんですがそれぞれ一個一個に対しての,、まあその介入をすることによっての効果っていうことについてはこれは当然あのいわゆるその対策をすることに,についてはこれはおそらくいろいろ数字としては出せる部分があるんだろうというふうに思っております。でそこについての解析等が、まあ、なかなか十分追いついてないのは、これは私も問題だと思っています。あの、なんでしょう、まあ、私から見ても、その対策が本当に効果があるのかと思うようなことを、まあ、社会実験として、まあ、やるというような決断でや,やられた時期も、えー、あったかと思いますが、それ一個一個やはり検証して、次につなげていくということについては、今後もやる必要があるだろうなというふうに考えています。So,、uh, the state of emergency has been declared,、uh, and then、uh, various、um, measures、uh, to mitigate、uh, the infection, the pandemic、uh, is being、um, introduced, but、um, not enough、um, analysis has been made as to, as to verify whether those measures、uh, have been、um, properly,、uh, I mean, whether those measures have、um, enabled、uh, the mitigation of the、uh, infection. Um, maybe they are doing that, but it's not,、um, they have, it's taking a long time, so the numbers are not、uh, coming out. So, and in fact,、uh, there have been some measures、uh, which were introduced in the past, which I also felt,、uh, may, which I also felt were not so、um, effective.、Uh, and it, it made me question why are they、uh, introducing that kind of、um, uh, control measure? Is it really going to uh, mitigate uh, the infection? So,、uh, th I think there is a room uh, for um, these uh, verifications uh, to be conducted. 
Okay, well, I've, I've been told that it's time to wrap up this um, press conference. So, um, Wada Sensei, thank you very much for your um, insight. Um, a lot to think about there. Thank you very much indeed. And obviously, it's a moving, changing situation. So, let's see how things <laughs> go over the next few weeks. Um, could be a very interesting time, both in terms of infections and also politically, I think, as well. So, um, anyway, as part of our gratitude, we're giving you a, a one-year honorary membership to the club. So please come and have a drink in COVID safe <laughs> in a sort of environment, we hope. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.